share some clips from my adventures in Philadelphia. Um, when I pulled into Philadelphia, I thought that I might go to the Art Museum or the Liberty Bell, Edgar Allan Poe's house, Benjamin Franklin's house. You know, it's Philadelphia. That's what people see, right? As it turns out, I was there for Labor Day weekend and all of that was closed and what I ended up seeing was a different Philadelphia. I visited the rusting hulk of the SS United States. I saw a lot of graffiti. I saw some really raw, gritty, vibrant city streets. It, Philadelphia is an exciting city. When I realized everything was closed, I looked online to see what else there was and found out that the very first doomsday cult in America uh, had holed up in a, a man-made cave in Philadelphia to wait for the end of the world, which obviously didn't come. And when that happened, they stayed there because they'd gotten attached to the location. But I was intrigued by this idea, the, the world's, the, the United States first doomsday cult and, and their cave was still in existence. So I went trekking through the woods to try and find it with my topographical agnosia. So I got lost again and again and again. And there were a lot of people in the woods and I kept asking them if they knew where the cave was and a lot of people hadn't even heard of it and a few people had and kind of vaguely it's off that way or something and eventually I did actually find it. This week's lesson in happiness is to find happiness where you are not where you think you should be. I pulled into Philadelphia thinking Liberty Bell, and I ended up with Doomsday Cult Cave, and I had a terrific time. And I want to share a quote with you that I wrote down from Robert Holden, and he says, Beware of destination addiction. The idea that happiness is in the next place, the next job, or with the next partner. Until you give up the idea that happiness is somewhere else, it will never be where you are. There's some wisdom in that, in finding happiness wherever you are, and finding meaning wherever you are, because you can't always find happiness. One of my favorite books is Viktor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning, and he Viktor Frankl was in the Nazi concentration camps and survived, and he wrote his book in about nine days. And no, it's ludicrous to suggest that you would be happy in a concentration camp, but he said that what he noticed was that the people who survived were the ones who found meaning in a concentration camp. And usually they found meaning through helping the people around them. So my takeaway lesson, although I did find happiness in Philadelphia, I had a blast. My takeaway is find happiness, or if you can't find happiness, seek meaning in where you are. Because where you thought you would be or where you wished you could be is a distraction from where you actually are. Start with where you are and try to find meaning in your day-to-day -day life and through that seek happiness. And now here are some clips from my adventures. My mission for the day 
get lost in the woods in Philadelphia. It can be done. I promise you this. It can be done. Yes, I am wandering around the woods near Philadelphia trying to find the elusive Rosicrucian Doomsday Cave. There comes a point when wandering in the woods when you have to ask yourself, is this just a washout gully? Or is this a trail? I have no clue. Stop the presses, I think I found the trail. This is no gully washout. This is a genuine, legitimate, bona fide trail into the woods to the Rosicrucian Doomsday Cave. I ask you, why is there a grove of bamboo? Okay, so I went inside the Hermit's Cave and it was really creepy and I didn't like it much. And there really isn't much in there. It's just a little chamber. It's lined with stones. Um, you can kind of see a little ways in. It's sort of dug into, it's an artificial cave that's been dug into the hillside. The river is down the hill that way and also a major road, Lincoln Avenue, I believe. There's the plaque that the modern day Rosicrucians erected in 1961 to commemorate the fact that uh, America's first doomsday cult holed up here in the late 1600s and early 1700s. So the fact that you're seeing this means I made it back to my car safe and sound after getting really lost in the woods. I can get lost in the woods on any day and apparently twice on Sundays. We found the Hermit's Cave, aka the Rosicrucian Doomsday Cult Cave, uh, a stripy snake, some chipmunks, some random people, and it was pretty cool. I have no idea what I'm going to do now, but I'm in Philadelphia, so there's all kinds. Of... I should go to the auditorium. We have arrived at the auditorium. Okay, folks, this is the room. I know it's the room because it smells really dead back here. I'm not kidding you. This is the Fiji mermaid. Hello, Mr. Kitty. Are you enjoying your visit to the cemetery? Yeah, well, we do it all the time, I know. <gasps> Look, what is that? It's a badger! It's a badger! Oh my god! Or, or a woodchuck! It's a woodchuck! There's a woodchuck in the cemetery! A groundhog! A creature! Look at it! It's amazing! It lives under that, that, that gravestone! Whoa! There's a marmot under their grave! Dude! That was worth seeing! Okay, let's start with how many cemeteries have a gift shop? And how many cemeteries have the dead milkmen playing at them? <laughs> Check out these foxes down here. There are foxes in this cemetery, in addition to the big groundhogs. <laughs> have a great day. Love you all. I hope you enjoyed seeing me be lost as much as I enjoyed being lost. It's a silly thing, isn't it? But I had so much fun. If you feel like you're lost, Stop and, and assess where you are. There's meaning in your life right now. Reach out for it. Don't give up. 
I love you. Love yourself. Thank you.